What's up guys, I'm uh, Mr. Fetty here. Today's gonna be a brand new Lego set review, and this time it's a Lego Spider-Man set, which is called Motorcycle Chase, Spider-Man for Stock Hawk. Set number, set number is 76275, has 77 pieces, and it's for ages 6 and up. So let's check out, let's check out the box first. So, here's the box, which is like a good old $10 size box, and here's the front of it, which showcases the set in action, and the minifigures in including the set, the top, which showcases the actual size of the, the Spider-Man minifigure, there's the spine, bottom, and our spine, which shows the, the Lego Marvel logo, and the back, which shows more of the set in action, and and also there's like only one play feature, you know, something involved with like stud shooters. So yeah, and construction manual, which has a total of 41 pages to build, and no ads, and yeah. and there's the win ad, you know, the only one that's included because it's, there's no other ads in this manual, sadly. So yeah. And as well as the winner has the the pirate captain, so yeah. Now on to the the minifigures and as is included in the set. The first minifigure is Spider Man himself, which, you know, it has always been typical, you know, just like three simple pieces to to build this fig minifigure, so yeah. Now so this is like kind of different than the the one from the twenty fourteen uh set that I got, you know, the 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 spider cycle chase set. Or the spider, the spider strike. I think that's what it's called. So let me put them. Let's put a. Let's do the comparison between this minifigure and to the the other one. Okay, here's the the, the spider Man minifigure from the 2014 set. The spider strike, uh, the spider strike chase set. I think that's what it's called. So yeah. So the difference is, is the the eyes on the newer figures are a little bit smaller than the this one, the old one, and back printing. Yeah, they're, it's the new one's completely different, and and the little patterns on the the back of the head is like also different, and and I think the ones in the newer ones a bit more brighter, but but then also the top of the new minifigure bot on the the top of the torso has like there's like red on it instead of like the usual blue. Now so the the new Spider-Man minifigure has arm printing. Hell yeah, that's pretty good since unlike the this one from the from 2014, which has no arm printing. This one has uh, has more detail, you know, so that's a win. So yeah, and also the play features are the, you know, the play features on the on the Spider-Man figure is these uh these web slingers, you know, this the web blasters, you know, same one from the Miles Morales versus Venom Mech, which we demonstrated it. Yeah, and this one's like kind of failed to like blast through, so. Let me try that again. And there. let's try that again. Yeah, like that. So, yeah, you know the webs, the blab, the web blasters is uh, kind of fun to play around. So, yeah, but but the Spider-Man figure, yeah, somewhat an improvement, you know, than the old one, you know, because it has more details, you know, and and everything else. So, yeah, even for the colors, a bit more darker than the. I think the the old one, so yeah. So that's Spider Man. Now onto the the main figure that uh, that's actually kind of uh, that was worth it for the ten dollar price. And that minifigure is Venom Doc Ock, you know, the variant of Doc Ock, you know, which you know being affected by Venom and God damn, this minifigure is actually is really good, you know, like you know has like like interesting printing and you know, like like by the Torso, uh, there's like a little venom, the venom pattern right there, which is gonna take about to take over uh, Doc Ock. And so let me demonstrate the the back printing, and which you know didn't have anything else. There's like no venom pattern like right there, which is kind of disappointing. But this uh this forearm equipment from for Doc Ock looks, you know, it looks kind of nice. You know, has some, like Lots of movements, you know, like, he can move the, the, the tentacles, well, robotic tentacles, like, whatever position, so, yeah. Let me put it back in, and, there it goes, and, there. Also, the accessories is a, have, is a dynamite, a bananas, and, uh, well, a banana peel, and three gems, which is kind of... That's a lot of accessories for a, for this minifigure, you know, you know, for Doc Ock, you know, it makes sense because that's 
He has multiple hands or multiple t tentacles and two hands to grab them. So yeah, and also the this hairpiece is pretty much like this is. I think this is the same one from the Ghostbusters set, you know, from like a few years ago. And there's like a back print, a, a double sided head, which showcases uh, Doc Ock being fully taken over by Venom. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And we put the hairpiece back in. So yeah. The Doc Ock minifigure, it's really awesome, you know, like, you know, this is like kind of like, this is like, I think that's like the only thing that people wanted to get to set because of this Doc Ock minifigure, because, you know, it looks really cool. And also the banana peel piece, yeah, that, that, that's also really good, and, yeah. You know, this Doc Ock minifigure, yeah, really awesome. Besides this, pretty, oh, wrong one, uh, this, this cool, uh, this is like a more highly detailed new Spider-Man minifigure, so, yeah. Alright, now on to the set itself. Okay, the set includes like two builds, so let's check out the, the 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 side build first, which is this kind of like this little typical uh, piece of the city of New York and you know there's like there's like this random bottle here and the and the trash which is filled with this fish and this large bone, which I think is coming better but it's like just a small bone but you know, it's just, you know, Lego can be weird with what pieces to use, like this big bone instead of like a s usual small bone. And also the street lamp piece, uh, it's really nice, and that's the same one from the the team in T twenty twelve set, the the Toro layer attack. So yeah, and also there's like a little little clip there which you can have. You can have like a Venom Doc Ock to hang on, and yeah, it looks uh, you know, it looks you know. It's pretty cool, you know, and oh, dropped the banana on me. So yeah, there it goes. You know, this, no, it looks kind of nice to, to display the figure like this, and you know, sometimes sometimes it's kind of difficult to try to try to hang it on to the fan, which you know usually usually it's always like this whole thing is kind of fall off, which is kind of a problem. So yeah, but overall, this side build is. It's pretty nice, you know, and and those the random pieces of the of this large bone should have been better if it's actually a small bone, but the fish piece, yeah, I can I can understand why is it there. Because I know that you know, smelly fish, so yeah. And yeah. So that's the side build and on to the main build, which is the Spider-Man's motorcycle and Wow, this is kinda of small for a motorcycle, you know, like compared this to the Shadow's uh, Dark Cycle from the Shadow's Escape set for the Lego Sonic, from the Lego Sonic uh, theme, you know, like, yeah, it just felt so small, like, it's like, it's like you can put it like in the whole hand, or, you know, you just cover it, almost cover it, so, yeah, and, you know, the usual red, you know, the whole usual red and blue is kind of nice, you know, but even for the red, it's kind of like, it dominated it. The the bikes the more cycles are colored in the blue, which you know should be like have like more more blue and less red, like the, the side like these side pieces you know which should be in blue, and also no printing that's pretty good because you know, this piece it's not a sticker it's a it's a printed piece, which you can like move it whatever you want like this or this, and there's like a little seat which you can put Spider Man here on whatever position. Like near like on like fully or just like make them like standing there. So yeah, look which looks like a little bit awkward where him just like have like grabbing the more grabbing the handlebars on the motorcycle while having these two fans which you know let me get rid of them. Yeah. Yeah, much better. So yeah, and it's kinda of fun to like fun to play with this uh, motorcycle and there's like a you know, usual play feature, which is the stud blat, the, the stud shooter. So we demonstrated it as usual. So yeah, let me put them back in. Okay, bam, and hang on a sec. There, there it goes. Okay, got it. Got them back in, and the handlebar pieces is you know. At least this is kind of uh, better than the shadow one, since you know the shadow one is kind of kind of difficult to like have the minifigure to grab onto it, and since you know he's always like looks like 
it, you pretend it, it looks like it's grabbing it, but here, yeah, it looks like it's pretending to grab it, which I think this is kind of works better. So yeah, and yeah, for how small this motorcycle is, it's it's pretty fun to play with. So yeah, move that one of the web track dolls uh, away. So yeah. So anywho, uh, final thoughts on this set, uh, guys. You know, there's like some things I gonna explain about it. You know, so let's move on to the final thoughts on the set. So the set itself is really good, you know, like, for a set that costs like $10, uh, with those two minifig figures that look really good, that's kind of worth it. But, you know, there's like a little, uh, like just small flaw, you know, which is the, the side bill, which, you know, when you had to display Doc Ock, uh, usually it just always, always falls itself, so let me demonstrate it. Yeah, it's always fall itself, and sometimes these, these uh, two pieces can, like, fly off somewhere, so, you know, you have to be careful of it, so. This is like uh this is like the best decision I put for displaying Doc Ock on this side build, so yeah. And the spider cycle, you yeah, know, it's really good, you know, but even for the color and showing better with the motorcycle, like some a perfect balance of the blues and the reds, you know, that could like make it better, you know, like like the spider strike is kinda like did it bad though. Let me compare it. So here the spider strike, you know, which you know the vehicle itself is kinda a bit Kind of a little bit messy and all, you know, for, no sense, no, it's, it's always had too much red and, like, not enough blue, but here, uh, you know, oh, the red is kind of, like, fine here, and so is the blue, you know, which, you know, almost like a perfect balance, but here, it's a, it's kind of messy, you know, but it's usually, the, it's a nice build, you know, but a bit too messy, you know, with the coloring, so, yeah, it should have been, like, usually the blue, more blue and, like, less red, so, yeah, and... Nuzzle, it's kind of fun to roll it around, so, yeah. Kids are going to love to play with this, so, yeah. And, and also the, this large bone is like, just felt out of place, you know, it should have been like just a small bone instead, so, yeah. And, info to say about this set, um, you know, the, the, the new piece on the banana peel is really good, you know, and, and also, the, and also this printed uh, Spider-Man logo on the motorcycle looks really good, so, yeah. And also the, the, also the, those, those new pieces, like, trying to put, like, the, this little Technic pin to put, connect the wheel into this spot, it's kind of fitly nice, you know, just like the Shadow Motorcycle, the Shadow Escape set of that, Dark Cycle, which is, you know, that's good, so, yeah. So I'm uh ranking on this set. Uh I'll just give it a a decent seven point five out of ten, you know. It it's actually a really good set, you know. The the minifigures kinda be much carries it and but you know Spider Cycle the the small more spider more spider man motorcycle looks really good and side build, yeah, it's pretty nice, so yeah. So anywho, uh I just hope you guys uh, enjoyed this uh Review of the Motorcycle Chase Spider-Man vs. Doc Ock, a Lego Marvel set. So, yeah, uh, like and comment this video and subscribe for more content. So, this is Mr. Fetty here, and I hope you have a, a very good day. So, uh, see ya. Yo!